All right, guys, we're out to the lake. Um, conflicting forecasts about the wind. Yesterday, the wind was off the charts. So, it's nippy, but the sun's shining, and there's not supposed to be a whole ton of wind today. It was windy yesterday, beautiful day, but windy. So uh, we picked today and yeah right now even with being blocked by this big hill we got a pretty friggin stout wind blowing here so I don't know we're gonna feel it out jump in the air and uh, yeah see how it see how it pans out we're not expecting anything epic so Anything more than shitty should be a bonus. I don't even know which way my wing is laying here. Oh, there we go. I'm so confused. Anyways, guys, you know how GoPros are in Canada. I'm going to shut you off here so that we save battery. All right, fellas, get into the air here. Watch Troy as he takes off. So... That hill in front of us, there's wind ripping over the top of that. We got wind ripping in every direction, man. Watch our two launches here. Skinny little runway on the lake, and it was exciting to get off that lake today. We were doing touch and goes later in the flight, and that was exciting too because, man, the wind here was all over the map. So, yeah, but it was good good practice. Uh, trikes are a little tricky right, to launch guys. because you can't feel the wing like you can when you're hanging onto the risers on a foot launch. So you're just kind of depending when you have those uh, uh, the A assists there. You don't really feel the wing like you do. Look at that. I was sideways, man. Woohoo! But we're in the air and let's go flying, boys. Alright guys, so we're in the air and we're not really sure what to do. Troy's having issues with his gloves. Um, yeah, and you'll see, maybe I might put it on here a little bit later, but he's really struggling to keep his hands warm. Heated gloves didn't work. Notice he had a wire ripped out. He has his gloves uh, wired directly into his trike, so they should work. But uh, if you remember uh, quite a while back, about six, eight months ago, he was getting out of his trike and he tripped and fell. I had it in one of my videos, and I think that's when he damaged the wires for his heated gloves. So... A little bit of repair work to do there. I had one heated glove working. Thankfully, the one on my left hand was working. And that's the hand that I have trouble with getting cold. But it was cold out here. It was minus 10 or so. And with the wind, it's pretty chilly. But um, we knew that if we waited later in the day, we were going to wind up with more wind and probably not get to fly. So we made the best of it here anyway. So with not knowing what to really do, we just decided we had a tailwind at our backs here heading south towards Nicholson, a little bedroom community of Golden. And yeah, we watched Troy here. He's trying this and trying that to get his gloves to work. At least I think that's what he's up to. He's flying hands off anyways, so he found some smooth air there, so he was kind of hanging out in that zone. And I just decided, well, I'm going to drop down and see what it's like. If it's not too rotary, I was going to follow the river to Nicholson, which is about five miles or so. And so, yeah, I got her down on the deck here. And I noticed there was some uh, snow machine tracks on the river, which is, you don't see that all the time. It's a fairly dangerous river to be on. If you were to go through the ice there, uh, yeah, you'd be in big trouble. Um, it's a pretty decent sized river, so... But by the looks of it, this thing is frozen solid this winter, man. I'll tell you, it's been cold for the whole month of February. So, yeah, it was a little bouncy down here, as you can see. Um, definitely getting rocked around a little bit. And I did venture down a little bit lower a little bit later on and played around a bit. But, you know, even though it was rough, it was kind of those big smooth rough bumps. But still, you... Do you have to kind of mind your P's and Q's a little bit when you're down low in this kind of weather, so. And as it winds up, we uh, just kind of bombed out to about eight miles south of Golden and just kind of ripping around for the day, just taking her basically pretty easy. Not a very great day for exploring or anything because it was too windy, so 
Uh, we just decided to bop around, have a little bit of fun, and I don't know, Troy's flying like a little bit of an idiot here. I don't know why he has to be going up and down so much. <laughs> uh, lots to do with how the air was moving, I'm sure. Uh, Troy gets a little bit of a shot here of me booting along the Columbia River. I can see where the snowmobiles cross that crack in the ice, or is that the shoreline? Wow, a little bit sketchy looking there for sure. So at this point, I'm pretty sure Troy's hands were almost frozen. And I was getting to the point too where I was just like, I had to cut corners here. I just want to get back now because it was so cold. Guys, I look forward to summer when we can get back to flying with just a friggin' t-shirt on and not have to worry about these stupid cold temperatures. I mean, it, you, you don't get more beautiful than what it is. It's for sure pretty. There's no forest fire smoke, which I'm sure we're going to have a lot of again this year, which kind of sucks. But uh, I guess we'll just watch Troy fiddling around here a little bit. Uh, we came in here, did a few little touch and goes, and yeah, basically just kind of playing around. You know how it is at the end of a flight when you know you should land, you've had enough, you're cold, you're everything else. But you just keep flying because that's what we do. And we're kind of crazy that way, man. It's like I have every single time I have a tough time putting my paramotor on the ground. Um, I have to say, 30 years almost we've been flying. And uh, paramotors I've been doing for the last six years or so in Troy for a couple of years. Uh, but prior to that, we were free fly pilots and we flew for a lot of years. I mean, we did big you know, fairly decent cross countries, we got up to high altitudes, like, I mean, my highest flight's 15,000, Troy's, I think, is 13, 5, 14,000 feet, um, I've had lift, uh, 10 meters a second up, maintained, and, yeah, kind of crazy flying here in the mountains for your, uh, free flying, it's definitely big conditions you're playing with, especially in the spring and early summer, uh, there I go, just doing a touch and go, it was kind of crazy. I don't know if you'd be able to see here when Troy comes in. But watch. He's, his wing is moving. Oh yeah, he just did a real short one there. And I don't blame him. There was little ridges in this ice. And it would catch you and kind of toss you sideways a little bit. Kind of a little bit sketchy listic. But as, you know, as long as you keep your wing uh, with some good energy in it. Keep your hands just on the brakes. Foot ready on the gas. Um, it's a lot of fun. I don't mind being down there and getting kind of beat up close to the ground. And, you know, just kind of practicing those piloting skills, really. Uh, that's what it all comes down to. You, uh, you can fly for a lot of years, but if you don't push your comfort levels a little bit, you're not really going to learn as much, you know. Of course, here I'm pestering Troy. He knows I'm behind him. He can see the shadows. And I'm like, I'm just going to swing back and forth, back and forth. And he's going to wonder, just what the hell is Jerry Delier doing behind me there? The guy's insane. Well, let's see. Do I follow Troy in for a touch and go this time? All right. No. No. He's not going for one. Oh. Am I going for a crazy one? Nope. Not this time. We are just going to cruise along here and uh, have a little bit more fun, I guess, before we land. Man, it was beautiful out, though, I tell you. A lot of the people, you'll see me waving at people on the highway, and I know most of the people that are driving by, right? Let's have so. some fun. Thank <laughs> you. 
let's watch Troy here as he sets up his approach for landing. And let's get her in there, buddy. All right, here we go. Lining up nicely for this little narrow strip. Coming in right behind me, hot. Nicely done. Touchdown at the end of the runway. And I think Troy's plan was to stop midfield. Yeah, and that's exactly what he does. Nicely done, Troy. Now it's time to get your little paws warmed up. And it's my turn, boys. Let's see here. Can we get this thing on the deck? Looks like I'm lined up pretty nice. Sun at my back. Doesn't look all that rough. Now what am I going to do? I think I'm going to land and I'm going to skirt Troy a little bit and go to the far end of the runway so I don't have to uh, push my trike as far. So let's see how close I get to Troy here. And he should be on my on the left of the screen here. There he is. And just miss Troy. Land at the far end of the field. And that's a wrap, guys. That's a wrap. Great day. Nice. Coming paramotor pilot. <laughs> Wave. Yeah, buddy. So <laughs> cool. You're so cool. And honestly, guys, nothing makes me happier at the landing field than having random people show up. Look at this little sweetheart of a girl with her upside down glasses laying on my paraglider. I love sharing the sport with people, and it's just so cool to have them. I love having them hanging around. All right, you guys. Can you see me? Can you see me now? Troy's dad, ground crew, come check us out. Anyway, guys, uh, please like this video if you liked it, and subscribe if you can. Well, why wouldn't you? All right, catch you in the next one. Out.